Every atmosphere you create invites a certain spirit. I want to stress the importance of being thankful, especially at the end of your day. After all you've done and experienced, let your last act be a prayer of thanks to the Lord. Consider turning to Psalm 136, a chapter dedicated to thankfulness. Verse 1 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Verses 23 and 24 continue, It is He who remembered us in our lowest state, for His steadfast love endures forever, and rescued us from our foes, for His steadfast love endures forever. One of the easiest traps for a believer is complacency. Never become complacent. It's dangerous to take God's blessings for granted and fail to be thankful. So before you sleep, I urge you to take a moment to say, God, thank you. Be grateful for obvious blessings like your health, bed, food, electricity, and shelter. Speak to someone without shelter or who doesn't know if they'll eat today, and you'll realize how blessed you are. Life can change for any of us, so we must be thankful for even the little things. Matthew 17, verse 20. Because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. This is a powerful reminder of how mighty faith is. In the book of Matthew chapter 21, the Bible tells of a time when Jesus was hungry and went to eat figs from off a tree. It was a time of year where the tree should have been in full bloom, but it was barren and yielded no fruit. Jesus rebuked the tree and said, From this time forward you will never grow any more fruit forever. Immediately the tree withered up and died. The disciples were amazed. Little did the disciples know that Jesus had just taught them a very important lesson in faith. Matthew 21 verse 21 and 22 says, So Jesus answered and said to them, Assuredly I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. I believe that Jesus was also teaching us that when we use our faith and believe things have to fall in line with His Word.